Refining 210 ounces scrap silver part 3. When doing this, the best silver plated items to recover will be weighted sterling, silver plated forks, knives, and spoons. Though these silver plated plates contain less silver than any other silver plated items I mentioned, reverse electroplating will save us on cost. Next, transfer into a beaker or jar, then pour off excess water. Add some muriatic acid and your solution should turn dark blue green. This is because the copper and other metals in your mix. Filter off excess muriatic acid and rinse with more muriatic acid until your solution turns yellow. Now pour off the excess muriatic acid, rinse with some water and let your powder sit on the burner to burn off the excess water. The powder will turn into dust in the beaker. This can be smelted into a silver button and is a pure way to refine silver, even better than using chemicals. 0.999 silver. Well, other than muriatic, you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about like nitric acid, the lye and the sugar and all that other. But I am going to show y'all, so stay tuned. Here is the little bar I made from my last video that was not pure silver. So we're going to go ahead and refine that in nitric right now. We're also going to put in that little silver nugget that we made as well. All right, now that we have our silver nitrate made, we can go ahead and filter it out, get it all purified and cleaned, all the gunk out if there is any, which there wasn't. But then now we'll go ahead and get it started. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it on a burner slash stir. You could get these at gold and silver testing. Uh, this is not a promotional video. This is just for educational only. So I'm going to go ahead and get the stir going. Um, we're going to add in some muriatic acid. Muriatic acid is going to automatically get that silver chloride to start dropping and precipitating out of uh, the solution um, so I'm going to keep on adding muriatic acid you can usually just eyeball this you don't have to go by ratio or anything um, so what you're eyeballing is practically for uh, you know when you added the muriatic acid and you saw the reaction of the silver chloride starting to drop um, so uh, what's going to happen is um, you're not going to see that happen anymore when you pour in your muriatic acid it should stop happening and so when that stops happening that's when you know it's done another indicator is uh, when you start to see the uh, muriatic acid uh, saturating uh, the nitric acid um, uh, so yeah you'll start seeing it like turn yellowish uh, that's another indicator that it is practically done and there's no other silver chloride uh, precipitating out of the solution so it's very easy guys don't think oh I can't do this um, you, you can't ruin it you can't ruin it I mean you can add more muriatic acid but you can't ruin it because it's just gonna drop whatever it can out so we'll go ahead and move on to the next step let this play out Now that I have all my silver chloride um, practically precipitated out of the solution, what I'm going to want to do is rinse out all of this, uh, what is now copper uh, chloride, get all that out of uh, my mix. Um, I'm going to do some, uh, this is just distilled water. I'm going to fill up a bunch of distilled water. As you can see, it, it's still kind of blue. So if it turns blue, it still indicates that there is still some copper chloride inside your uh, so, uh, mix. So you just want to rinse and repeat. Keep rinsing and repeating like you're going to see me do here until uh, when you put your water in there. It, is clear um, that's going to tell you now you can use um uh, you know ph balance um sticks and all that other but you can just eyeball it you can tell uh, when it's gone when it's clear it's gone uh, so like i said just rinse and repeat until it is clear so we'll move on to the next step after here Okay, so now here I'm going to be adding in some lye. Uh, this is just drain opener uh, lye. So uh, you can see uh, the silver start turning brown down at the bottom. So we want all that whiteness to go away. We want it to turn brown. And another thing, guys, there's not really a ratio with this. You can eyeball it as well. You just want all the whiteness to turn brown. You don't want to see no whiteness in there. You want it to be dark brown or dark black, uh, getting the blackish color. Um, another thing with this, guys, with the lye, you can't overdo it, guys. So you can pour um, uh, even more than you need, but you don't want to waste your lye, but you just can't overdo it. Uh, 
so don't be scared that you're going to ruin anything because you're not going to ruin the next step um, like I said but you do want to make sure all the the white particles are now either dark brown or a blackish color so we'll move on to the next step from here here I have some um, what I you, there you use sugar so a lot of people you're gonna see just put straight sugar into it what I did is I prepped um, 100 milliliters for every 100 milliliters I put two tablespoons of sugar uh, but I warmed up the 100 milliliters of water first and then I added the sugar into it to dilute it into a, a liquid form uh, so now here you see me uh, mixing it in and it worked perfect instantly worked it worked real great now at the end of the video you'll also see me do it uh, with the straight sugar way just and it's it, it I mean it works good but you know you constantly got stirred and stuff like that uh, but with it being in a liquid form doing it this way it happened instantly um, and it worked a lot better guys you should give it a shot like I said it was a hundred for every hundred milliliters of uh, warm water it's two tablespoons of um, sugar you know regular sugar Okay, now that this process is now done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing with the rinse and repeat. I'm going to get all the chemicals off of my powder. Uh, we are practically done. This is 24 karat. Oh, not 24 karat. This, <laughs> this is 0.999 silver. I'm so used to my gold. But this is 0.999 silver. You can go ahead and either throw it in a furnace or a crucible and melt it on down. Uh, just dry it up. Like I said, um, how to do it. You can either just leave it on a burner and let it uh, heat up. It will dry up inside the burner, becoming a powder, or you could just let it sit overnight.